Hey there CNCers, Scott here from CNC Labs. I'm here today to tell you about another awesome product we have coming out. The Mark II Magnetic Dust Shoe. We've put a lot of time and care into making sure that you, the end user, would have the absolute best experience possible, and we think we really nailed it. I'll put a link in the description so you can go get your very own. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell to get all the latest and greatest content from CNC Labs. For us, it was really important that a dust shoe does a few things to really maximize that user experience. We wanted to make sure it didn't limit the travel in any axis, X, Y, or Z, while staying within the footprint of the machine itself. We wanted to make sure that it didn't interfere with any add-ons or external features like an enclosure. We wanted to be able to see what we are carving while we are carving it, but it still had to suck. And it had to be easy to use. It had to be easy to take on and take off and to adjust the height because let's face it, if it's a pain to use, you're not going to use it. Our design team set out to conquer some of these beastly challenges and here's some of the amazing tweaks they came up with. Travel on the XYZ axis is now a breeze with no travel limits or blackout dates. Wait, never mind. <laughs> the new Mark II magnetic dust shoe doesn't interfere with travel on any axis at all. It wasn't easy engineering this thing to fit within the constraints around it without losing suction or colliding with any other parts of your machine, but our designers did it. And they made sure that the magnetic dust shoe stays within the footprint of the machine itself. No need to worry about where or what you're carving, you'll have full functionality wherever you put it. The next thing the magicians at CNC conjured up was a slick new, smaller router pass-through and top view acrylic window. Reducing the size of the hole where the router lines up and eliminating the gap between the bristles and the window optimizes sucking power and makes sure you're left with a tidy surface when carving. They even tapered the bristles at the pass-through opening to maximize dust collection. And last, but certainly not least, they made you feel like an Old West gunslinger by adding a super handy trigger for dust shoe height adjustment and removal. This was extra tricky to incorporate given all the constraints, but the wizards in the lab found a way to make it super easy to attach and remove, attach and remove, attach and remove, and adjust the height of the dust shoe. A quick pull of the trigger and Billy the Kid himself couldn't get the drop on you. When your Mark II magnetic dust shoe arrives, you're going to love how easy it is to get up and running. Simply attach the bracket with the bolts and nylock nuts to the X gantry, making sure to snug them down. Grab the magnetic dust shoe, slide the nut into the pocket, pushing the spring onto the trigger, and line up the spring into the top pocket. Screw the bolt through the trigger into the magnetic dust shoe, making sure the trigger spring action works. Double check to make sure that the bit is roughly centered in the window area of the magnetic dust shoe. If it's not, you can adjust the bracket from side to side. We're shipping the magnetic dust shoe with a few extra washers to adjust the front to back alignment if needed. Slide the washer between the bracket and the X gantry. Tighten it down and you're ready to suck some dust. <laughs> hope you enjoy using your new Mark II magnetic dust shoe as much as we did creating it. It's super important to us that we create the best quality product that we can. We poured a lot of thought and energy into the design process and putting this thing through its paces to make sure it really sucked. Boo! So get it hooked up and enjoy the show. And you want to see more cool content, check out our website or our YouTube and make sure you subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you around the CNC.